Welcome to SRAM Technical Communications. This video will guide you through the process of servicing the ZIP Cognition Hubs. View a complete list of tools, supplies, and replacement parts needed in the video description below. For part numbers, please refer to the ZIP Spare Parts Catalog in the Support section of zip.com. Clamp the small diameter of the non-drive side end cap into the smallest slot in either the Park Tool AV4 or AV5 axle and spindle vise insert. Pull up on the wheel to remove the end cap. Repeat this process on the drive side. Remove the driver body assembly. Remove the driver body seal. If the driver body seal does not come off with the driver body, remove it from the hub. Use a plastic mallet to gently tap the axle on the non-drive side of the hub. Pull the axle and the drive side bearing out of the hub. The drive side bearing may not come out with the axle. The steps to remove the bearing from the hub will be covered later in this video. Place the axle in between flat aluminum vise soft jaws, drive side down, with the bearing resting on top of the soft jaws. Make sure the axle bearing step does not contact the soft jaws. Do not tighten the vise. Only use it as a surface to tap against in the next step. To avoid damage to the axle, do not allow it to contact the vise soft jaws. If the axle bearing step is damaged, the axle must be replaced. Using a plastic mallet, gently tap on the top of the axle until it is dislodged from the bearing. Discard the bearing. If the drive side bearing was not removed with the axle, you must remove it from the hub shell with a blind hole bearing puller tool. Insert a 20 mm slotted bearing puller attachment through the bearing and tighten it to expand the tool. Thread the shaft of the bearing puller onto the slotted attachment. While holding the wheel securely, forcefully pull back on the slide hammer to remove the bearing from the drive side of the hub shell. Remove the bearing from the slotted attachment and discard it. Insert a 17 mm slotted bearing puller attachment through the non-drive side bearing and tighten it to expand the tool. Thread the shaft of the bearing puller onto the slotted attachment. While holding the wheel securely, forcefully pull back on the slide hammer to remove the bearing from the non-drive side of the hub shell. Remove the bearing from the slotted attachment and discard it. Use isopropyl alcohol and a clean rag to clean all parts before installation and reassembly. Bearing removal causes permanent damage to the bearings. Do not reinstall the used bearings. Use only new zip cognition replacement bearings in zip cognition hubs. Place the drive side end of the axle into a SRAM 6903 bearing press tool. Slide a new drive side bearing, black seal side facing down, onto the axle. Slide the flat side of a ZIP 6804 bearing press tool over the axle and rest it flat on the bearing. Use a plastic mallet to gently tap on the tool until the bearing is seated onto the axle. Stop when the bearing is flush against the axle bearing step. Place the wheel on a flat surface, non-drive side up. Insert a new bearing into the hub shell with the black seal side facing outward. Place the bearing press tool on top of the bearing. The SRAM logo on the tool should be right side up. Use a plastic mallet and gently tap the tool until the bearing is pressed into the hub shell. Place the bearing press tool on a flat surface. Position the non-drive side of the hub on the bearing press tool. Insert the axle into the hub through the non-drive side bearing. 
The grooved end of the ZIP6804 bearing press tool has an internally tapered interface that fits over the driver axle bearing step to prevent damage to the axle. Slide the 6804 bearing press tool, grooved end first, onto the axle. Gently tap the tool with a plastic mallet until the drive side bearing is seated into the hub shell. Use a pick to gently pry the clutch seal cap from the hub shell and remove it. Squeeze the seal cap to remove the O-ring. Clean the seal cap and O-ring, then reinstall the O-ring. Use a pick to lift one side of the clutch assembly from the hub shell, then remove it. Spray the clutch assembly with isopropyl alcohol to remove the clutch oil. Carefully pat the clutch assembly dry, taking caution not to remove the magnets. Set the assembly aside to allow it to dry. During removal and installation of the clutch assembly, do not allow the magnets on the bottom of the clutch assembly to contact any of the opposing magnets seated inside the hub shell. In the event a magnet assembly is removed from the hub, reinstall the magnet into the hub shell. Align the three magnets on the bottom of the clutch assembly with the empty circular magnet bores in the hub shell. Align the clutch teeth with the hub teeth and install the clutch assembly into the hub shell. Use a small syringe to apply approximately 0.5 milliliters of zip cognition clutch oil onto the clutch assembly. Do not apply grease to the clutch assembly or bearing. Grease will negatively affect the function of the hub. Install the clutch seal cap and press it into the hub shell. ZIP recommends replacing the entire driver body if the bearings are worn or any part is damaged. For part numbers, please refer to the ZIP Spare Parts Catalog in the support section of ZIP.com. Apply a thin layer of ZIP cognition grease to the drive side of the rear axle. Do not apply grease to the clutch or bearing. Install a new driver body seal with the stepped side facing away from the driver body. Slide the driver body assembly onto the axle. Apply zip cognition grease to the axle ends and bearings. Apply zip cognition grease to the inside of each end cap. Install the end caps by pressing them onto the axle until they snap securely into place. Wipe away any excess grease from the hub and end cap. This concludes service for the rear zip cognition hub. To determine which side of the wheel is drive and non-drive, refer to the directional arrow which is printed on the non-drive side of the wheel. Clamp the small diameter of the non-drive side end cap into the smallest slot in the vise insert tool and pull up on the wheel to remove the end cap. Gently tap the exposed axle end with a plastic mallet to dislodge it from the hub bearings. Push the axle through the hub shell and remove the wave spring. Remove the axle from the hub. Remove the drive side end cap. Insert a 17 mm slotted bearing puller attachment through either hub bearing and tighten it to expand the tool. Thread the shaft of the bearing puller onto the slotted attachment. While holding the wheel securely, forcefully pull back on the slide hammer to remove the bearing. Remove the bearing from the slotted attachment and discard it. Repeat on the other side. Use isopropyl alcohol and a clean rag to clean all the parts before installation and reassembly. 
Bearing removal causes permanent damage to the bearings. Do not reinstall the used bearings. Use only new Zip Cognition replacement bearings in Zip Cognition hubs. Insert one new bearing into the bearing bore of each side of the hub shell with the black seal side facing outward. Place a 6803 bearing press adapter onto the non-drive side bearing. Insert the bearing press threaded rod through the hub shell. Slide the second 6803 bearing press adapter onto the threaded rod. Thread the bearing press handle onto the threaded rod. Turn the handle clockwise to press the bearings into the hub bearing bores until it is hand tight. To prevent damage to the hub shell, do not over tighten the bearings. Remove the bearing press tool. Insert the non-drive side end of the axle into the drive side of the hub. Press the axle into the hub until the axle bearing step fits flush into the bearing. Install the wave spring onto the non-drive side end of the axle. Use a small flat blade screwdriver to push the wave spring down onto the bearing. Apply zip cognition grease to each end of the axle and onto each bearing. Apply zip cognition grease to the inside of each end cap. Install the end caps by pressing them onto the axle until they snap securely into place. Wipe away any excess grease from the hub and end cap. This concludes service for the front zip cognition hub.